Hello and welcome to this special edition of my Setting Up Todoist series. In this episode, I want to run through just a few of the features that are available in the new iOS Todoist. Now, I should give you a warning that the 3D Touch features I don't have and cannot demonstrate for you because I don't have an iPhone 6S or 6 Plus S. However, I can show you some of the more cooler features that have come into the new uh, Todoist for iOS. And one thing I should point out is uh, the new Todoist has been updated completely from the ground up. So you will find that this is a much more smoother experience. And I find that it's um, pretty um, nifty and I have noticed a little bit of difference in the speed. However, one of the coolest features for all users of the new Todoist is the ability to search tasks. So if you drag down from the top and, uh, sorry, not drag down from the top, if you go into your spotlight function, I can type in a project that I know I have. So I have one called business creativity. All I have to do is type in buzz and I have a list of my Todoist actions. If I click on the action, it takes me straight into the project itself. That's really cool if you have a lot of projects on and particularly if you know what you're going to be working on that morning. So for example, this business creativity project is my big writing project at the moment and I can get straight into the project. And usually when I'm working on a project, I have the project window open. Although to be fair, I do actually have it on my computer. So that's one of the coolest, one of the really good features. There is another feature that I am particularly excited about for when I am collaborating with uh, other team members who are using Todoist, and that is the notifications that you now get. And if I drag down from the top, you'll see that I have uh, a couple of Todoist actions here. And um, if I wanted to do, if you look at the one, the third one down, it says Carl commented, this is from my test Todoist um, account. I can slide to the left. And if you notice, I have a, um, a reply function there. If I click that, I can now reply directly from the window that I am in. Um, so I can just type in, thanks, um, Carl. And, um, We'll get on to it. And I can send that. And I don't even actually have to go into my Todoist um, application on my phone. That's really good if I'm moving around very quickly between places. Uh, I don't have to go in search for anything. That is there. That's a really, really cool update. Another one here is Cal added Todoist test. If I slide to the left, Sorry, if I slide to the left, um, I can actually schedule it from here, schedule and today, or I can just complete it. So if I schedule it for today, it um, is done. And now when I go back into my Todoist, and if I go into my today function, you'll see do this test for iPhone down at the bottom. That's really, really cool. So those are just a couple of the features that I'm really excited about in Todoist. You'll notice that up at the top there, I've got uh, on this notifications. This will tell me uh, all the notifications that I've received. And that's a really, really good function. I can see what I'm doing, see who I'm communicating with. Uh, it's almost as if this has become like a, an instant messaging application. And I think in many ways, that's a really, really good feature, particularly when you're collaborating with other people. So there you go. That's all I can show you on the uh, iOS updates because I don't have the latest version of the iPhone. I'm on 6, I'm not on 6S. However, if you go to the Todoist uh, YouTube channel, uh, you will find a full rundown of these new features and they are really, really, really cool. I'll put a link in the notes for you and you can have a look through that video. Uh, I'm sure those of you using the iOS uh, 6S or 6S Plus models could have a lot of fun with the new 3D Touch features. So I hope that this quick email, uh, this quick video has been pretty useful for you. Uh, sorry, I can't show you all the features, but when I get my iPhone 7 later this year, I will be more than happy to show you all